Today's learning intention is exponential, logarithm and trig graphs. The national five essential skills are trig graphs. Exponential functions. A function of the form f of x equals a to the power of x, where a and x are a member of all real numbers and a is greater than zero, this is known as an exponential function to the base a. We refer to x as the power, index or exponent. What we need to know is if x is zero for any base a, a to the power of zero will give an answer of one or give an output of one. And if x is if has a value of one, f of x equals a to the power of one, which is a. This means that our exponential graph always passes through zero, one and one a. Two types of exponential graphs on the left hand side is when a is greater than one and on the right hand side is when a lies between zero and one. And you can see from both graphs, they both pass through zero, one and one a. Example one, the graphs with equations y equals two to the power of x and y equals a to the power of x are shown below. If the graph of y equals a to the power of x passes through the point 1, 4, find the value of a. So here we're given a coordinate point in order to help us find the value of a. So put the general form down, which is y equals a to the power of x. And we're going to insert the point 1, 4, our x and y coordinate. So y is 4 and x is 1, which will give 4 equals a to the power of 1. And a to the power of 1 is just a. So a has a value of 4. Therefore, the equation of this exponential is y equals 4 to the power of x. Introduction to logs. We can use logs to help us solve problems such as find q if 6 to the power of q is equal to 512. Here we need to find the power of 6 which gives an answer of 512. Previously you would have had to do this by trial and error. However, if we use the notation q is equal to, so the power is equal to log to the base 6 of 512, in general, log to the base a of x is the power of a, which gives an answer of x. So please note that log functions are inverses of exponentials. So to find the graph, of y equals log to the base ax, we can reflect the graph of y equals a to the power of x in the line y equals x. So log graph is just a reflection of our exponential graph. Here we have um, an example of a log graph to the base a. This graph always passes through 1, 0 and a1. Example two, the graphs of y equals 10 to the power of x and its inverse function are shown below. Write down the equation of the inverse function. So as per the previous slide, if the exponential is 10 to the power of x, the inverse function is the log graph of that. So it's y equals log to the base 10 x. Trig functions. Trig functions have a repeating pattern. The length of this repeating pattern or the length of one wave is called the period. The pattern has a minimum and a maximum value. We half the difference between the maximum and minimum and this is called the amplitude or it may be sometimes referred to as the height of the wave. 
and it looks like this. Example three. The three basic trig functions are periodic and have graphs shown below. Write the equations next to each graph. Hopefully you recognise each of these from National 5. So our first graph starts at zero, goes to its maximum, zero, minimum, back to zero again. And that is the graph of y equals sine x. The middle graph starts at its maximum through zero, minimum, zero, and back to its maximum again. And that is the graph of cos x. And the last graph you should recognise as tan, tan x. Now try this example on your own. Please pause the video. And the answers. So we had to sketch the curves of the exponential graph 6 to the power of x and then draw its inverse graph which is log to the base 6x. Here we can see the two graphs that you should have drawn. Another point to note is the exponential graph goes through 0, 1 and a log goes through 1, 0. The coordinates are just flipped round and again the exponential goes through 1, 6 and the log goes through 6, 1. Please self-assess your progress. If you'd like some extra practice, you can gain, get this from page 30, 31 and 53. Looking at the exercises named here on the video. So what have we learned today? Today we've looked at exponential log and trig functions. We know an exponential function always passes through the point 0, 1 and 1a. We know that a log function always passes through the point 1, 0 and a1. Log and exponential functions are inverse functions. And trig functions are periodic and you should be able to recognise a sine cosine and tan graph.